There we go. All right, so during the first few minutes of class, you may hear a bell. That's people coming in a little bit late because yoga. So if that happens, just stay in flow. A bell just like that one. <laughs> so as always, let's start by finding a comfortable seat on the mat. Remembering that this can look like many things in your body depending on the day. So in my body, sitting with my legs crisscross applesauce feels pretty good. But if that doesn't for you, that's totally okay. You can have one heel tucked in, you can have both legs extended. What's most important is to find a way to comfortably come to stillness. And once you arrive there, Simply allow your eyes to soften. They can come to a half gaze or close completely. And begin to cultivate some nice deep breaths, really trying to breathe from your belly. As you breathe, let's add a little bit of movement to that breath. So on your next inhale, roll your spine out nice and long, sit tall on the mat, and then exhale, soften. Allow your spine to melt a little bit, your shoulders, and then inhale again, lifting, rising, lengthening, and exhaling, softening. On this next exhale, allow your navel to draw you back. Start to round your spine, maybe bowing your head a little bit, and then inhale. As you lengthen your spine, shift forwards. So that breastbone shifts toward the front of the mat, exhaling, rounding through the spine, and inhaling, shifting forward. So we're feeling a little bit of that cat-cow vibe here, right? Beginning to wake up some movement in the spine. As your body warms into this movement pattern, maybe you find that, that uh, shape becoming even more dramatic. Maybe we really shift forward. Maybe we really roll back on that exhale. Now, as you breathe, as you move, begin to experiment with a little bit of intuitive movement here. So maybe this is perfect, this seated cat-cow. Maybe it would be fun to start to thread your heart over to one side and then up and lengthening, exhaling over to the other and then up and lengthening, maybe diving all the way forward and then finding extension. In this opening space, just begin to feel the things that feel good. And then find your way all the way back to seated, gently coming to stillness. Take a moment to bring both hands to your heart, close your eyes, and set your intention for your practice today. You can dedicate your practice to someone who maybe is in need of a little healing or grace. You can also choose a quality or an aspiration that you're working on bringing into your life. And on your next exhale, simply release your hands down to the mat. Sweep your feet around behind you. Let's make our way into tabletop. Wrists are going to come beneath the shoulders. Knees come under the hips. And let's keep going with spinal movement. On your inhale, roll your heart forward and tip your tailbone to the sky. And then exhale, 
coil your belly in and drop the crown of your head. Inhaling, rolling open. And exhaling to coil. Now, in this space, if cat-cow feels amazing, you stay right here. You're also welcome to begin experimenting with freeform movement, though. So maybe that's drawing big circles with your hips or with your rib cage. It could be shifting from one side to the other, making a sort of C shape with the spine. And it could be shifting forward or back. Just notice what feels good. What helps your body release tension? What helps address those sticky places in your back? And move in a way that helps release them. And then find your way back to a neutral spine in tabletop. Draw your knees a little closer together underneath your hips so they're centered, so you feel very stable on the mat. On your next inhale, extend your right leg long behind you and lower your toe all the way down to the mat or floor. Begin to press into your right heel to stretch out your right calf. Now there are a couple options right here. You can stay in a static stretch, right? We sustain the stretch, or you can find a slow rolling motion into and out of the stretch. And mind you, this is not a bounce, right? It's a slow flow. And then let's switch it out. Lower your right knee down. Let's feel that on the left hand side. Inhale, extend your left leg long behind you. Lower the tip of your toe to the mat. Press into your heel using the ball of your foot at that counterpoint and stretch out that left calf. Remembering again, we keep our breathing long and slow and smooth. And that stretch is either static, sustained, or we find a slow rolling motion. And then lower your left knee down once more to join your right. From here, we're going to meet in forward fold. So that means you can walk your hands back to stand or step your feet forward, whatever works better in your body. Once you've found your forward fold, take a moment to surrender. Really hang over your legs. Let your head be heavy. Let your neck be long. We tend to try to keep our head somewhat tight, right? So take a moment to really let that flop loose. If it would feel good, you're welcome to find movement here. Sometimes rocking back and forth in forward fold can feel really nice. If you are in motion, come to stillness. Bend both knees, exhale, and roll your way all the way up to standing. Inhale to rise and open, sweeping your fingertips to the sky. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Release your hands down by your side, and if you're not already there, make your way toward the top of your mat to set up your first mountain pose of class. Now, in mountain pose, we want our feet parallel and directly beneath our hips. So feet are about maybe a fist and a half to two fists distance apart in most human bodies. Bring your hands to your belly. Start by giving your belly some love. And then find that space, that little triangle of muscles just under your navel, and draw them in. You'll feel your tailbone lengthen. Keep that as you roll your shoulders back and down and let your palms face forward. On your next inhale, sweep your fingertips to the sky. Exhale to fold all the way forward, pouring over your legs. Bend your knees enough that your fingertips can touch the mat or a set of blocks. On your inhale, step your right foot all the way back to lunge and lower that right knee down. 
Now in low lunge, we want to make sure we're safe here. So we frame that left shin with our arms, even if they're on a set of blocks. And we want to make sure that when we're in our fullest extension of lunge, the left knee is directly over the left ankle. So if your left ankle is back and you've got a deep bend like this one, you just want to pick that foot up and move it forward. On your next inhale, look forward. Exhale, let your hips draw you back. That left leg's going to start to stretch out. Your toes might rise a little bit. Inhale forward to lunge. Melt your right hip toward the earth. Try to soften. And exhale, shifting back. Inhaling forward. And exhale back. Let your next inhale bring you all the way forward to lunge. From here, tabletop. Knees come beneath the hips, wrists come under the shoulders. Walk your hands one hand span forward and shift your shoulders over your wrists. Now what we're looking for here is half plank, which means you may have to walk your hands forward or back a little bit to find it. In half plank, our knees, hips, and shoulders are in one long line. Draw your navel in, feel your tailbone lengthen, press the earth away, so plenty of buoyancy in the shoulders. This is a very active pose. On your next exhale, keeping your spine long, keeping that plank aligned, we're going to bend the elbows and lower our way all the way down to the mat. Perfect. Once you've touched down, walk your toes back, create space beneath you, and bring your fingertips out to either side. Begin to roll one shoulder and then the other. This is Creative Cobra, and we are going for range of motion here. So nice, big, fluid shoulder circles. Turn your fingertips to beneath your shoulders and press back. Tabletop, or if you have one in your practice and you'd like to take it, you may press back to downward facing dog here. Wherever you've landed, I'd like you to find some movement. So if you're in tabletop, that's cat cow or free form spinal movement. If you're in downward facing dog, we're walking out that dog. Bend one knee and then the other. Dropping one hip and then the other, freeing up our bodies for movement. And then come to stillness, to stability. On your next inhale, look forward. Exhale to step your right foot forward between your hands. Multi-step movements are fine here. If your back knee is lifted, lower it down. So we want to set up that same safe lunge on the right hand side. So again, the right knee is directly over the right ankle. Scoot your foot forward if you need to. And we frame that right shin with our arms. Inhale to look forward. Exhale, shift back. Again, maybe those toes rise a little bit. Inhale forward to lunge. Melt your left hip to the mat. And exhaling, shifting back. Let your next inhale bring you forward to lunge. Turn your left toes under to lift your back knee and look forward. On your next exhale, step together and fold. Surrender. Again, try to consciously relax the back of your neck and your head. You can maybe even wiggle your shoulders around here to help release tension. And you can find a sway if that would feel good. Come to stillness. 
bend both knees, exhale, roll your way up, inhale, rise and open, exhale, hands come to heart center. Check in with your mountain pose, it might have moved and it's totally okay if it did, just reset. Root your feet, feel that energy drawing your core in, long spine, heart lifted. On your next inhale, sweep your fingertips to the sky. Exhale to fold forward. Now this time on your inhale, we're gonna halfway rise. So for halfway rise, we wanna bring our hands to our, sh our thighs or our shins and roll our shoulders back and down, creating a flat back. In this position, we try to have the legs as straight as is an option in our bodies. We want to feel a stretch all the way along the back side of the body. Now, if you're not feeling enough of a stretch, all we do is walk those fingertips down a little bit more. A couple more breaths right here. Again, making sure our back is nice and flat, really going for that L shape. And on your next exhale, Bend both knees, plant your fingertips. Inhale to step your left foot back to lunge, lower down to your left knee. So let's take our flowing lunge a little bit deeper this time. Inhale to look forward. Exhale, shift back, right toes rise, and maybe this time we even walk our hands back to get a deeper stretch in the back of the right leg. Inhale forward to lunge, melt your left hip, and exhale back. Let your next inhale bring you forward to lunge, tabletop. Walk your hands, one hand span forward and shift your shoulders over your wrists. Yogi's choice here, half plank, or you may turn your toes under and lift your knees for full. Either way, press the earth away. And then with a long, slow exhale, lower your plank down to the mat. Walk your toes back now that you're down here, and let's set up Sphinx Pose. So we're gonna bring the forearms to the mat, and we wanna have our elbows directly beneath the shoulder joint. When you look down at your arms, you wanna see them as a bit of a box, right? So we're not in, we're not out, we're just nice and forward. I like to think of this as Lego dude arms sometimes. Press into your forearms, creating buoyancy in your shoulders. Now, on your next inhale, we're going to lengthen along the spine. So we're going to draw that heart forward, maybe turning the chin up, exhaling, softening, inhaling, lengthening, heart draws forward, crown of the head lifts. You can press into the mat with your hips, exhaling, softening. One more time, right here, draw the heart forward, draw your crown to the sky. And exhale, make a pillow with your hands, rest your head and rock your hips from side to side. Now, if you'd like to, you can bend your knees here and add windshield wiper legs, that feels nice in my body, but as with all things yoga, your mileage will vary. And then from here, let's press our way back tabletop or downward facing dog. Again, yogi's choice and a little pause for movement here. Walking out your dog or playing in cat cow or free form spinal movement. Come to stillness. On your inhale, look forward. Exhale to step your left foot forward between your hands. If your back knee is lifted, lower it down. Setting up that safe lunge again, making sure the left knee is directly over the left ankle. And if it's got a deep bend in it, just moving it forward. Inhale to look forward. Exhale, shift back. Left toes rise. We might walk those hands back this time. Inhaling forward to lunge, melting that right hip toward the earth. And exhaling back.
Let your next inhale bring you forward to lunge. Turn your right toes under to lift that back knee. Look forward and step together and fold. Soften, let it go, rock from side to side if that would feel nice. And then come to stillness at the center, bend both knees, exhale, roll your way up. Inhale, rise and open. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Release your hands down by your sides. Reset your mountain pose. So once again, finding that rooted, strong position, drawing your navel in, shoulders roll back and down. Inhale, sweep your fingertips to the sky. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, halfway rise. Hands to the shins or thighs, shoulders roll back and down, flat back. Maybe walk your fingertips just another inch down. And on your next exhale, bend both knees. Plant your fingertips, inhale to step your right foot back to lunge. Lower that right knee down. Now listen for the change here. We're going to plant the right hand at the center of the mat. It can plant firmly to the mat in front of you. You can also put a block under your right hand. On your next inhale, peel your left arm open, reaching to the sky. Exhale, dive that left arm underneath your left thigh. Inhaling, peeling open. Now this class is all about spinal movement, including rotation. So in this space, in this particular vinyasa, Focus on turning from the lowest point in your belly where you can feel rotation. On this next exhale, both hands come down to the mat. Space them evenly and then tabletop. Walk your hands, one hand span forward, shift your shoulders over your wrists. Yogi's choice here, half plank or full. With control, on an exhale, float your way down. Walk your toes back, create space, and let's bring fingertips wide again for creative cobra. So they come off the mat, roll one shoulder and then the other. And just waking up movement, finding our fullest expression of motion. Turn your hands to beneath your shoulders and press back. Tabletop or downward facing dog. Come to stillness. Inhale to look forward. Exhale to step your right foot forward between your hands. Lower your left knee down if it's lifted. So we're going to find that same twisting vinyasa on this side. Root your left hand to the mat. And again, it can be to the mat. It can be to a block on the mat. Inhale, peel your right arm open. Exhale, dive that right hand underneath your right thigh. And then inhale, peel open. See how far down into your belly you can feel this rotation starting. And on your next exhale, both hands come down to the mat. We space evenly. Turn your left toes under to lift your back knee. Look forward and step together and fold. Again, softening right here, breathing it out. And come to stillness. Bend both knees, exhale, roll your way up. Inhale, rise and open. Exhale, hands to heart center. Check in one last time with your mountain pose. Last time through our opening salutation. Feeling strong, feeling engaged. Inhale, sweep your fingertips to the sky. 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway rise. Now, this time, we're going to bring our hands over to that left side. Press your heart away as your right hip stabilizes. You'll feel a nice deep stretch in that lower right side of the back. And then passing through the center, we're going to walk over to that right side, pressing that left hip away, reaching the heart long, enjoying that stretch in the lower left hand side of the back. and breathing long and slow and smooth. And come back to center. Bend both knees, fingertips come down to the mat. Inhale, step your left foot back to lunge and lower your left knee down. Now this time we're gonna wiggle that right foot wide. So we're heel toeing it to the right side of the mat. That way our hands can come to the inside. Lower back pain is often attributed to tight hips, which is part of why we're here this morning. So we're just going to breathe right here in the beginning place of lizard pose. Now, you may already be experiencing maximum stretch in your hips, and if you are, that's fine. If you would like to, you can make this stretch a little deeper by bending your elbows. For just a couple people with very open hips, you might be able to come down to your forearms on the mat. Wherever you happen to be, we're going to breathe here just for a few more breaths. Trying to let the body gently open. If your arms are on the mat or are bent or otherwise not straight, find your way back to those extended arms. Root through your left hand. Inhale, peel your right arm open, reaching up and back, breathing. And then lower that right hand down. Hi, Lifa. We're going to feel that on the left. Root into your right foot and hand. Inhale, peel the left arm open. Again, stretching. And then lower that left hand down. Tabletop. From here, walk your hands, one hand stand forward. You know what comes next, half plank or full yogi's choice. On your exhale, float it down. Walk your toes back, create space. This time, let's do traditional cobra. We're going to bring our fingertips to directly beneath our shoulders. Lengthen the back of your neck. Now, from here, draw your navel in a little bit, almost like enough to slide a penny underneath your belly button. So we just want to create a little bit of space right there. On your next inhale, roll your shoulders all the way forward, up and back and down. Gentle pressure in the hands, lengthening, keeping the neck long. Exhale to soften to the earth. Inhaling, rolling open. One more time. Make a pillow with your hands, rest your head, rock your hips from side to side. Again, bending the knees and doing a windshield wiper legs if that would feel good. And then return your toes to the mat. Press it back, tabletop or downward facing dog, yogi's choice. Stabilize. On your inhale, look forward. Exhale to step your left foot forward between your hands. Lower your right knee down. So again, checking in, making sure that left knee is directly over the left ankle. We're going to find that wider expression. So we're going to wiggle that left foot to the edge of the mat and plant our hands to the inside. So again, notice how this feels, right? This might be plenty of stretch right here. If you'd like to intensify it a bit, you can bend your elbows. Right? Getting a deeper stretch. If it is open to you, you're always welcome to come down to your forearms. However, we want to remember that that's really only open to people whose hips are pretty flexible. And we just breathe, letting the body gently open.
Now from here, let's walk our hands back up, finding extension, arms are nice and straight. Let's root into that right hand first. Inhale, peel your left arm open, reaching up and back. Beautiful stretch right here. Really feeling all the way from those left fingertips to that right knee, right? You feel this stretch across the body. And then exhale, lower your left hand down. Shift your weight into your left hand and foot. Inhale, peel the right arm open. Feeling that rotation moving in the other direction. And releasing that right hand down. Turn your left toes under to lift your back knee. We can wiggle that left foot back in. Look forward and step together and fold. Full lunar pause right here. Relax your head and your neck. Dangle, breathe. Come back to your intention or dedication. And then come to stillness. Bend both knees, exhale, roll your way up. Inhale, rise and open. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Release your hands down by your sides. Good job, that was a tough one. Let's come all the way down to the earth and onto our bellies for core cultivation. So a lot of working on the back involves strengthening our muscles as well as getting a little bit more flexibility. So we're going to be doing most of our core cultivation today on our bellies, which gives us an opportunity to stretch a little bit and cultivate some strength. So the first thing I'd like you to do is come all the way down to the mat. Fingertips are going to come beneath the shoulders. Start by pointing your toes away. Try to touch the back wall of the room, right? Legs are very active here. And then exhale, relax your feet back down to the mat. Then, drawing your navel in, right, remembering what we did in Cobra Pose, inhale, roll your shoulders back and down, and float your fingertips. And exhale, bring them back down to the earth, and now we're going to put that all together. Inhale, roll your shoulders back and down, float your feet, sweep your fingertips behind you, locust pose. Exhale to soften a little bit, but do not give it up entirely. Inhale. Lifting, drawing in on the navel to protect our lower backs. Exhaling, softening. Inhaling to lengthen. And exhale. One last time. And exhale. Make a pillow with your hands. Rest your head. Rock your hips from side to side. So from here, bring your toes the width of the mat. So they're going to come wide. And then from here, we're going to reach our hands forward. Maybe you're finding a bookshelf like I am. <laughs> On your exhale, draw your navel in. Inhale, keeping that, we float up. Exhale, draw your toes together, elbows to your sides. Inhale, feet open, arms reach forward. Exhaling, elbows to sides, toes together. Inhaling forward. So that's a little bit of a swimming through the air feel to it. On your next exhale, make that pillow with your hands. Rest your head. Rock your hips from side to side, windshield wiper legs if you'd like. All right, from here we're going to roll over onto our backs for one last little piece of movement while we're down on the mat. Once you're on your back, draw both knees in. Now, draw your navel in. So we're going to protect our lower back by keeping the lower back pressed against the mat. Allow your hands to fall by your sides, relax your shoulders. It doesn't matter which side you start on, but on one side, open one knee out, drawing a big circle with that knee. So all the way around and down and through. And we want to keep our core engaged this entire time. 
because of course our legs are pretty heavy, right? They're one of the heaviest parts of the body, some of the largest muscles we have. Also, if you are experiencing some little popping sensations, those are normal. As long as they are not painful, it's okay to keep going. We always want to listen closely to our bodies in terms of pain. Draw that knee in, open out the other side, drawing those big, beautiful, slow circles. Remember, we go slowly to cultivate strength. Keep drawing your navel in, pressing your lower back against the mat. Draw both knees in, and we're going to hug them to our chest on your exhale. Round up, make a little ball, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, releasing down. Inhale, coiling up, up, anasana, little ball. You can even rock from side to side here if that would feel nice. Exhaling down. One last time, coiling up, and exhale. Rock your way forward to seated and make your way up to standing. We're going to do a wide stance on the mat. And while you come on up, I am going to lift my camera a little bit so we can see more. So take a wide stance on the mat. We want our toes pointing out. Bend both knees coming down to high yoga squat. On your inhale, lifting up. Exhaling, sinking down. Inhale. And exhale. On this next exhale, bring your right hand to your right inner thigh and lower your right shoulder down, twisting. Inhaling to center, left hand, left inner thigh, left shoulder comes down. Right side. And left. Coming back to center now, we're going to straighten those feet. Turn your left foot so that it's facing forward, and we're going to turn that right foot to face the short side of the mat. Bend your right knee. Turn your heart and your hips to face out, to face the long side of the mat. So we're finding our way to warrior two here. Once you've found your warrior two, expand your arms, flip your right hand to face the sky. Inhale up and back, reverse warrior. Exhale, right hand or right knee, or right elbow to right knee. This is an elbow. Inhale, sweep your left arm long. Exhaling, shifting back, reverse warrior. And exhale. And remember, you can move slow or more quickly here, depending on how this feels in your body today. Find your way back to your expression of warrior two and relax your arms down. Straighten that right knee. Now bring your right hand to your hip and we're gonna push that hip back. I love this one as like giving mom lots of attitude, like I'm staying out as long as I want to. So just find that shift back. Sweep your right hand to the sky. Exhale, fold over, staying broad, staying open to the long side of the mat. And that right hand's gonna land somewhere. <laughs> so it might be your thigh, your shin, if you're very flexible, it might even be the mat. Lower your left hand down to meet the right. Inhale, peel your body open. Exhaling, lowering down. And again, we want to be concentrating on feeling this rotation from deep in the belly. Triangle pose is wonderful, both for stretching out the back and for cultivating some strength.
So staying here in triangle pose, couple of breaths right here. We want to feel expansion, right? So feel your left hip and the crown of your head drawing away from each other. Feel your arms radiating out. Really feel all of that energy moving outwards from center. On this next exhale, lower your left hand down and bend your right knee so your fingertips can come to the mat and then we're going to walk them to the center. Our feet become parallel as we make the round. On your next inhale, halfway rise. We're finding our way here again. Lengthen your spine. Exhale to soften. Forward fold. Let the crown of your head be heavy. Now, if you are in the tight hamstring club with me, root your weight into your heels and then tip your tailbone a little bit more toward the sky. It'll get you a nice hamstring and calf stretch. From here, walk your hands as far forward as you can reach without moving your hips. Once you've found that spot, soften your rib cage toward the mat and you'll get a nice stretch toward the middle of the back. And you may find once you've had a couple breaths here, there's a little more room for your fingertips to walk forward. Go ahead and do that. And walk your hands back. We're going to walk our hands over to that left hand side of the mat now, turning our left toes to face the top of the mat. Right toes are going to stay dialed out to the side. Exhale, roll your body up, warrior two. Nicely done. Relax your arms down. Take a moment to settle that pose. When we come up from the earth, it's okay to need to readjust a little bit, right? So once you've found that position, of course, we want that left knee bent. Heart and hips are open to the broad side of the mat. Radiate your arms. Flip your left hand to face the sky. Inhale up and back. Exhale, left elbow or left hand to left knee. Right arm reaches long. Inhaling up and back. Dancing warrior. Moving on your breath. And let this next inhale bring you all the way up to your warrior two. Relax your arms down, straighten that left knee. So same thing, we're giving mom attitude again. Bring your left hand to your left hip, press it back. Inhale, reach that left arm to the sky. Exhale, fold over. Let your left hand land. So again, shin, thigh, maybe the floor, maybe, maybe your foot. Lower your right hand down to meet the left. Inhaling, peeling open, feeling that rotation deep in the belly. Exhaling, lowering down. Inhaling to peel. Now on this next inhale, we are going to sustain. So again, feel that expanding energy. So right hip and crown of the head reach away from each other. Arms are expanding away from each other. Feel very active here, nice deep stretch. Lower your right hand down. Bend your left knee, fingertips come down to the mat, walk to the center. This time we're going to leave our feet parallel, so both toes are facing forward. From here, walk your hands all the way over to the right hand side, bend that right knee, press the edge of your left foot away, inhale to center, bend your left knee, press the edge of your right foot away. Flowing through Skandasana. This is great for stretching out both the lower back and the inner thighs. Coming 
coming to center now, we're going to plant our hands. Root your right hand to the mat, either to the floor mat or to a block at the center of the mat. Inhale, peel your left arm open. Exhaling, lowering down, feeling that on the other side, peeling the right arm open. Two more times, both sides. And then when you have wrapped up, we come back to center, heel toe, our feet in a bit, bend the knees and roll our way all the way up to standing. Inhale, rise and open. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Close your eyes. Notice what's different. Come back to your breath, back to your intention. and release. Both hands come down by your sides. Make your way down to seated on the mat. Downward slide. All right, great job everybody. Draw your left heel in and plant your right foot out in front of you. So we're moving toward a seated twist here, and there are a couple of different approaches for this. So you can have your feet exactly like this. You can cross your right foot over your left knee. If you choose that option, you wanna make sure your glutes are touching down on both sides, as are your feet. There's also an option where you can extend that bottom leg. For some of us, this is more comfortable. So just figure out what works in your body today. Once you've found your base for your seated twist, sweep your right hand down to the mat. We're going to press that palm into the earth. Roll, ooh, excuse me, roll the shoulder back and down and press to create plenty of length. Inhale, reach your left arm to the sky. Exhale, draw your elbow to your knee and turn. Now, with every inhale, lengthen your spine a little more. Every exhale, turn just a bit more toward the back of the room. inhale we're going to sweep our hands through center bring them over to the left hand side plant your fingertips bow your head finding your way back up to seated let's feel that on the other side so switching out the feet right heel draws in left foot plants out in front or on the other side or maybe we extend that right leg. It is up to you. Find your base and then plant your left hand down to the mat. Root that hand, roll your shoulder back and down, press to create plenty of height. Inhale, sweep your right hand to the sky. Exhale, turn to the left elbow to knee. Inhaling, lengthening. Exhaling, turning into that twist. Just a little bit more with every exhale. Sweep your hands through center, bring them over to the right side, plant your fingertips and bow your head. Come back to center. From here, we're going to roll our way all the way down onto our backs. Draw your knees into your chest and just rock from side to side. 
doing a little self massage on your lower back. You can rock from side to side here. You can also draw big circles with your knees. In my body, this actually feels better than rocking from side to side, but of course your mileage will vary. So just notice what feels nicer. Come back to center, to stillness. Open your arms out to make a nice big T on the mat. Drop your knees off to the right hand side, turning your head to look to the left. Now, we want our legs totally relaxed here, so no tension, no floating feet. Let the earth support you. To get the best lower back stretch here, keep your knees above the line of your waist, so that might mean drawing them in a little bit more before letting them fall. And then just breathe. If you find that having your head turned to the left causes tension, you can also just find a gentle rocking motion. Rocking your head from one side to the other. back to center. Drop your knees over to the left hand side. Turn your head to look to the right. Same adjustments, making sure those knees are above the line of the waist. No floating limbs, relaxing here. Sustaining that gaze over to the right or maybe rocking your head from side to side, nice and gently. And on your next inhale, draw your knees back to center, rock from side to side. And if there is any additional movement, any stretch, any pose, anything at all that you would like to feel before we close our practice for the day, take a moment to honor that request. It can go right here. And then as you are ready, begin to make your way into your Shavasana, this final resting space of class where we integrate all the benefits of a yoga practice. Traditional Shavasana, of course, is done with the heels wide, toes falling out to either side, relaxing our shoulders. We let the palms face the sky. Now, in some bodies, and mine's one of them, this feels a little crunchy in my lower back. So if that's the case for you as well, bend your knees and bring your feet the width of the mat then let your knees fall together at the center the bones will support you so you can still relax but it takes that extreme curve out of the lower back you are of course also welcome to take supine goddess pose bringing the feet together you can take child's pose here and seated meditation is always an option Find your way into stillness. Notice all of the places where your body is touching the earth. And let those points soften. Relax your jaw. Relax your eyes and your forehead and simply let go and float.
allow your breath to create space within your body. Begin to find some little movement of your fingertips and toes, bringing you back to this day, to this time. Point your toes away and reach your arms up overhead. Take a nice deep breath in, full body stretch. Then exhale, draw your knees into your chest and rock from side to side. Eventually, find your way all the way over onto your right side and curl into the posture of the sleeping child. No tension here. You can cradle your head on your right arm if that would feel nice. Now, come back one last time to your intention or to your dedication. Connecting with what drew us to the mat today and thinking about how we can carry that intention or dedication forward into the day ahead of us. And then whenever you are ready and you feel your practice is complete, Use your hands to help press yourself up to a nice, easy seated position. Once you've arrived, bring your hands to heart center and close your eyes. We're going to close our practice today with a round of Om Shanti Shanti Shanti, a prayer for peace. Inhale. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. Let me scoot forward and do all of the things real quick. I'm gonna stop. Thank you.